everyone i'm dr sanandini and i am going to be continuing this video from where dr sagar has left let us now talk about some of the problems in indian healthcare system when we say problems the first question that arises in our minds is that how did we even get here in the first place aakhir hum is situation mein pahunche kaise has indian covid crisis served an eye opener for all of us or was it simply a case of ignorance and bliss stretched far too long exposing the failures in the system that already existed highlighting some of the common issues while talking about the problems in indian healthcare system topping the list is overpopulation as on april 2021 our population has reached a whopping 139 crores what makes the situation extremely difficult is the contributing factors to overpopulation illiteracy lack of awareness unemployment or it may be a case of having too many voices and too many opinions that becomes difficult to control India currently needs one doctor per 1000 population one nurse per 5000 population one lab technician and one pharmacist per 10000 population each but in reality we lie far below the suggested norms that means there is a mismatch between the ever increasing population and the medical and paramedical staff this has contributed to killing lakhs of people during this pandemic apart from having acute lack or acute deficiency of medical and paramedical staff working in this country what also lacks is not being able to provide the common public general medicines number of beds in hospital ventilators and latest addition to this horror story of covid in india is oxygen inadequacy we are also known to spending extremely low amounts of money on healthcare that means we are not able to invest the required amount of money in promoting research grants modern advances in science and technology but when we dig deep into these issues we can deal with these problems under three headings number 1 is major challenges Do we face real interference in management of healthcare in India by politicians and bureaucrats? The answer to this is yes. Right from budget allocation, deciding the number of beds in hospitals, infrastructure of hospitals, and even the curriculum of medical education, the medical exams, the practice of medicine and ethics are also decided by the government. and politicians surprisingly many of them the majority of them do not belong to healthcare profession the second challenge that we come across in this age and era of social media is portrayal of modern medicine the easy access to google and whatsapp forwards has made everyone into a small quack it poses extreme threat to misinformation related to healthcare that has left people during this pandemic confused also the biggest problem that has slowly seen rising is the ever continuing distrust of public in science education also recently the development of antagonizing feelings of the younger generation towards science education and training has made the situation even more difficult This this trouble has also been taken seriously by the American Medical Association that has published in its research article quoting that science distrust is becoming a pandemic of its own a very serious issue that is hardly taken into a front seat is the situation the grim situation of doctors themselves almost zero work life balance extremely stressful work conditions years and years of studying and passing exams 
and yet doctors are being underpaid made to work insane amount of hours denied basic respect and to add to this list is the violence immense violence faced by doctors during this pandemic and even before they also serve rigorous bond periods some states have one year bonds some two some three and even in the past some governments have introduced 10 year bond periods for the working doctors in rural areas if some of the medicals choose to get a medical degree from private medical colleges they might even be left resourceless because lakhs and crores of rupees can be charged from them as a fee there is also an abysmal disparity of number of medical aspirants and the number of available seats for medical admissions in india also a syllabus a curriculum that promotes rote learning extreme competitiveness and very less hands on training and field experience also keeps the quality of doctors under check the issues highlighted in this video might leave us a bit concerned about our future even if we ignore most part of this discussion what we cannot ignore is three takeaway points from this video WHO recommend spending 5% at least 5% of country's gdp on healthcare by the government budget 2021 aims at currently spending 1.8% to healthcare that has to be increased to 2.5% by 2025 this still lies below the norms second point is lack of implementation of healthcare related policies and promises despite coming up with ambitious plans and programs we face delay or fail to achieve the targets that we had set in the first place one of the factors that might be contributing to this is the constant disparity or dispute between the center and state as to what and as to whose matter health really is on paper health is a matter of state the second situation that makes it difficult is lack of awareness in the common public common public do not demand the betterment of their own conditions they do not demand proper health care related services from their elected governments इसका ये भी मतलब हो सकता है कि हम खुश हैं अपने सिचुएशन से यहाँ हो सकता है कि कोविड से पहले तक हम अपनी सिचुएशन से जो कुछ भी हमारी कंट्री में चल रहा है जैसा भी हेल्थ केयर का हाल है हम इससे खुश थे क्योंकि हम अपनी हेल्थ केयर से कुछ और एक्सपेक्ट नहीं कर रहे हैं हम चाहते हैं कि हमें फ्री में ट्रीटमेंट तो मिले लेकिन उसके बदले में हम इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट से सही सवाल नहीं पूछ रहे हैं क्या इसका ये मतलब है कि हम खुद अपनी सिचुएशन को बेटर नहीं बनाना चाहते हैं बट लेट्स लीव दिस वीडियो ऑन एन ऑप्टोमिस्टिक नोट इट्स नेवर टू रीड टू रियलाइज वंस मिस्टेक फर्स्ट इट टेक्स रियलाइजेशन एंड देन इट हैज टू बी बैक्ड बाय वर्क इन राइट डायरेक्शन एंड आई एम श्योर वी कैन कम आउट ऑफ दिस सिचुएशन इन द न्यू फ्यूचर वॉट मेक्स इज रियली सैड the young doctors especially is that our mental health is not being talked about enough hamari demographic dividend ke hisab se the average age of indian population the working force is 29 years that means even the medical working force and the paramedical working force hamari younger generation has lived up to the expectations during this pandemic working social ladder and dealing with the pandemic in extremely stressful conditions young doctors have lost their lives but the government is silent on this matter they did not have the correct count of number of doctor deaths in india during the first covid wave when at such a young age the young medical doctors and the paramedical staff they face extremely stressful situations due to exam postponements due to violence at workplace 
seeing death and suffering of patients in front of their eyes, it can leave them anxious, in depression and prolonged bereavement. It might leave them in a dark place in future. NCBI, the National Center for Biotechnology Information and even JCDR America, the Journal for Clinical Diagnostics and Research, have addressed this issue of facing violence by young doctors in India. We have linked these two articles for further reading in the description box below. Lastly, a topic that essentially was not a culture among doctors when it started. The Great Brain Drain. Medscape, which is a medical website, hai, terms this as physician drain in India. This is more relevant to the current situation. Ko dekhte hue. Every year, almost 4-5% to 5% of doctors seek medical examinations outside of country to attain medical training abroad. This is an important situation because our country is seeing doctors ki deficit in this time. And in this case, if our doctors in the future, mein, due to lack of professionalism, stressful conditions and rigorous challenges, ki se, if they want to move out of this country, only common public is at a loss. That's why I think this quote is apt to this situation. The secret of crisis management is not good versus bad. It's not allopathy or modern medicine or evidence-based medicine versus Ayurveda and other Ayush branches. It's not about debate of beliefs, faiths or anything. It's above all this. It's always the good intentions. It's about preventing the bad from getting worse. Lastly, I would like to say that please have faith, be vaccinated, wear masks, properly follow rules and regulations, do not break them, maintain social distancing and stay at home, be safe, take care of your loved ones and friends and take care of your mental health. Thank you for listening to this. Thank you.